Again, they didn't expect anyone to actually come up here and look at this up close. What's up guys, Dark Tally here for another episode of Ghost Recon Wildlands Best Sites and Landmarks. And finally today I made it to the places, I, or one of the places I've been wanting to do an episode on for weeks now. Just the thought of coming up here and clearing this whole place out is a pain. Now, as you're most likely aware, we are at the Sueño Mausoleum in Bukhara, right here. There's a couple missions that have you come through here. One mission has you clear it out. And another just has you racing through here at breakneck speed, dodging bullets. Um, it, it's kind of a big place to clear out, and it's going to be a big place to explore. So here we are at the uh, the mausoleum itself. But I'm, I do want to check out this door. Now, this mausoleum is a replica of a real-world mausoleum in Turkey. I understand it's one of the seven ancient wonders of the world. This is a replica of it. And uh, from the pictures I saw online, it looks pretty similar to it. There's a Kingslayer file on this. So let's go ahead, let's check that out, and then we'll do some exploring around here. Okay, so here's a... Well, actually, here's another one. Here's a blueprint for it. Very interesting. And... Down here in the Legends, here it is. The Mausoleum of Holocarnassus. Now, let's see. The Mausoleum of Holocarnassus was an ancient burial monument erected on the hill overlooking the city of Holocarnassus, modern-day Bodrum, Turkey. Built by Queen... Artemisia in 353 BC to honor her dead husband, Mausolus. Do you think that's where, where the word mausoleum came from? I will bet you anything that's the uh, etymology of the word mausoleum. How interesting is that? Hey, what's up? This is Future Me here from editing. After I've researched this, commenting on this, I'm just going to pause this right here. Yes, it's actually called the mausoleum at Harley Canassus because it was named after her husband, Mausolus, and that is their origin of the word mausoleum. I just think that's really cool. I just checked it up on Wikipedia. It's a really interesting article, guys. Uh, go check it out. The building became one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Made of carved marble, it stood approximately 43 meters tall, dominating the city for over 17 centuries. Wow. It was later destroyed by an earthquake in the 14th century. What a pity. Very cool. I, I've looked it up on... Uh, on Wikipedia, and it is a it is a real deal that that's all true. So this is kind of on several levels. It's a really big base. There's five alarms set up, and then the base is kind of I, I think it's kind of like on three tiers. Let's let's check out up here as much as we can. See what's around up here. There's a lot of construction going on. You can see they're still like kind of finishing it. That's very cool up there. When you, what do you suppose that roof is made out of? Like copper or bronze or something. All right, truck was a bad idea. Yeah, it'd be nice to get around, but there's too much stuff in the way, so we're going to have to hoof it. It's just going to be the quickest way, unless I happen to find a motorcycle kicking it here somewhere. I wonder if you can drive these things. I never tried. No. Pity. That's a real pity. Now, of course, we'll get down there, but of course, at the bottom there is that armored front-end loader. The thing is pretty, uh, pretty gnarly. We might have to give that a spin. They get like a whole city up here. I mean, imagine how many workers it must take to build this. So they got like, like totally like a whole city up here. But they put so much <clears throat> crazy stuff in here. I swear every time I see new stuff I haven't seen. There's not a whole lot of construction equipment up here. Now that I'm thinking about it, I mean, there's some cranes. And there's uh, some of those big uh, loader things down there. Well, there's forklifts. Do you honestly think that forklift could lift that rock? Hmm... I wouldn't want to try. Let's see what else we got. Actually, I'm almost positive it wouldn't. Because I, I actually used to work at a warehouse assembling motorcycles and just moving motorcycle crates. Some of those motorcycles were just heavy enough to make the, uh, the forklifts tilt. I don't think there's any way that little forklift could lift that rock and have all its wheels on the ground. No, sir. Uh, these are cool cranes. I wonder if we can get up on any of these. I really doubt it. Yeah, there's some guys down there. I raided this place a little willy-nilly. I ran up here with totally unsuppressed weapons, just mowed down everything with an assault rifle. So, drew the attention of some local Sicarios who came to check it out. We'll have to clear them out as we go down. Those pillars look really cool, don't they? Let's go down to the next tier. There's a lot of stuff to find here and see. There's a lot of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do kind of the broad strokes because it would just take... You could spend half an hour here. You could spend an hour here. Looking at absolutely everything, you know. One of the mini alarms. 
here's where they're building some pillars. I know a lot of people come through, came through here. As I, you know, of course, there are two missions here. Kingslayer file, probably a weapon or attachment. There's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of reason to come here. Pillars look so cool. I wonder what they're going to do with the little shorties. Yeah, who knows? Oh, this has got to be a cool view. Got to be a cool view. Wow. Holy crap. Where are we looking out? Uh, that's probably Itaqua. I'm thinking. Yes, sir. Wow, that's just incredible. It's so incredible how far you can see in this game. Oh, we got him. <laughs> Look at this place. I mean, wow. And if you really think about some of this stuff, it's just incredible. Like, how heavy must that be? Like, how many, like, tons must that weigh? I would not want to be under that. No, sir. Let's see, where do we go down at? We want to go down to the next tier. Here we go. This place is just so epic. So very epic. So is this the next tier down? Because I thought it was going to take me this way. Oh, I guess there's kind of two here. So there's kind of like... There's one tier here. Okay, so this is like the side of it. You can't go down from here, I don't think. I think the way down is the other way. Let's check this place out. Some more half-finished pillars. Oh, here's some of these statues I wanted to check out. Some of these statues are really, really cool. There's one near the bottom, I believe, I really like. I think it's my favorite. You're supposed to be members of the cartel. Like, you know, is this El Cardinal or something? Or... Let's see, is there any... There's no wording anywhere. Very, man, this thing is huge. Of course, I know it's not real. But, in, you know, if this were a real statue. Wow. Right. They put a lot of work into this stuff. Like, seriously, it's just unbelievable. Let's see what else is this way. I believe this should be a dead end. Let's go down to the next tier. I didn't intend on filming this here today. I came here for other reasons, to get some footage for something else. And while I was here, I was like, look, it's a perfectly sunny day. It's 11 in the morning. This place is already clear. You know, why not do that episode of Best Sights and Landmarks I've been wanting to do for so many weeks? I've just been putting it off because I didn't want to clear this place out because it's, well, yeah, it's kind of big and kind of a pain. So here we are. Here's one of those big loaders. There's that one down at the bottom, though, with the armor on it. I think it's so tough. So badass. These are cool to drive. If you ha if you guys haven't driven one, you should try sometime. Oh, Digger, that's what it's called. Because when you hop in, your guys, they'll climb up on it. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. These things actually drive pretty decently, too. I mean, considering they drive better than the APCs. Pretty cool. Pretty cool that you can drive those. So what all do we have here on this level. Oh, this is kind of cool. Hey, Fuerza Jaimente. No clue what that means. I've seen that written in a lot of other places too, though. Oh, someone's got some girly pictures in the wall. <laughs> that one that one cot has all the girly pictures over the wall. Or, or, or over the bed on the wall. That, just that one cot. You know, when these other guys go to bed, you know they're like, <laughs> hoping the guy is sleeping over here is not, uh, right? This place has a lot of incredible, incredible architecture, obviously. Not all the fine touches that you see so many other places. Oh, here's that one statue. I almost went past it. I think this is the one I like. It's so cool. Very cool. You know what I should have done with the other one? Let's get a, let's get a drone to look at these. They're so big. So, like, maybe that's supposed to be Nidia Flores or something. This is pretty cool, except for that mysterious floating work light there. I guess they wanted lighting for the statues, and they took a shortcut, and they're like, hey, no one, no one will know if we just float this light up here. Oh, we can look at some of the fine touches on the uh, stonework. So cool. It's just so incredible, all the detail they put into this. Can't even imagine how all that's built, you know. Again, if this were real, can't even imagine. 
Is this one of those cranes? Yes, it is. This guy is having this place built just so that he can be buried here. Oh, wow, what a view. Definitely want a picture of this. What a perfect view of the mausoleum. Oh, I kind of like the cranes in the foreground. It's kind of cool. Oh, we're going to have to go back up there. At the, at the end, I'm going to have to go back up there. <clears throat> I just noticed there's some stuff around the top of that mausoleum. So stay tuned for that because I'm definitely going to be... Once we get down here and check this out, um, I'll, of course, cut the video. I'll edit it out, but we need to go up there and check that out for sure. And then down here is the bottom level. Got one last statue. So there's a total of three. There we go. Oh, this is a different statue. Check out this motorcycle. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I was a little reckless with the explosives when I uh, when I came up through here. Did it fast and dirty. So let's check out this statue here. Oh, it's got candles. Wonder, maybe it's supposed to be La Santera. I don't know, I'm just kind of taking guesses at who these statues are supposed to be, if they're supposed to be anyone. Very interesting. They carved a parasol out of stone. Interesting. It's too bad there's no there's no kind of plaque or wording or anything on these, so I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that's La Santera. <clears throat> Alright, before it gets dark, let's get back up to the top. Oh, I would kill to have this motorcycle right now. Oh, you know what let's do? Let's actually just do this. Oh, the armored uh the armored digger. It wouldn't make it to the top. There's that barricade. This thing is cool, though. If you guys... Maybe you guys haven't seen it. Maybe you guys have walked past it a few times, but it's here. It's... <laughs> That's something you drive into combat. Oh, there's freaking anti-air here. I knew that. Damn bottom of this place is a sand launcher. All right. Goodbye, helicopter. Goodbye, helicopter. So, we're going to check this out via drone. Oh, look at all that stuff above the door. How did I miss that? Glad we came back up here. Oh, very cool. It's got the Santa Marte holding the Jesus or whatever. And the little Reapers. Wow, they didn't put much detail in that. I guess they didn't count on anyone flying up here and looking at it up close. But that's cool, though, because you know what that means? That means this is probably unique. This is probably an, a unique engraving thing here because otherwise it would have detail. Very cool. It's still cool. All right, let's go check out up here. I bet there's some kind of cool something up here. Oh, oh wow. Check this out. Epic stuff. Oh, look at that. Again, they didn't expect anyone to actually come up here and look at this up close. They put so much work into the fine details that, that it's okay. It's totally fine. Man, it's like freaking shining gold can we get all the way to the top wow look at this place this is incredible what is it uh, I believe it's one of your team members I believe it's it's uh, I think it's Weaver it might be who says I think he's the one that says, I got a healthy enough ego to admit that I want something like this when I die. <laughs> he says in one of the, you know, random candid conversations. Wow, there's, you know, it's too bad. There's so much unused space up here. There could really be a lot of cool stuff. They built all this and there's no way to get up here. Not that I know of. Well, I mean, you know, helicopter, what have you, but yeah. And there's no guys up here either. There, you know, you would think there'd be like snipers up here or something, but no. All right, so this was the El Sueño Mausoleum. The awesome recreation of the mausoleum at Halicarnassus in Turkey. Very cool stuff. Be sure to tell me what you guys think. And uh, yeah, tell me what you think down in the comments. And uh, maybe I missed something here, something else you want to see. You know, whatever, just give me your thoughts. And uh, if you like the content that I post, then uh, don't forget to subscribe because, you know, I post new content every day. 
And we're always finding cool new stuff like this. All right, guys, it's been a pleasure. My name is Dark Dally, and I will catch you all next time.